looks like we're live and welcome to the show so what i've got to do today is we've got another um interesting interview today and i'm really proud to have a friend of mine Silvestro, who is better known as the weight loss king and we'll find out a bit more of why he's got that name and um who crowned him you know where did he get the name king from but we'll find out in a minute so and just to give you a bit of a background and he'll explain more about himself in a moment but Silvestro was better known as the weight loss king who because he lost 80 kilos 16 years ago and he's kept it off so i mean how did he do that well that's probably one of the questions i'm going to ask him shortly but the the other thing is that he continues to inspire people all around the world and he because he's living proof that it's never too late to start and to live the rest of your life okay guys so with that i'm going to bring Silvestro on screen and we can have a chat all right here we go welcome Silvestro. Fred, thank you how are you down in melbourne mate it's a beautiful sunny day i've been out for my walk and it's um fantastic but who knows what melbourne weather you know it could be raining in two hours time <laughs> oh well no the good thing is that you're here, we're here, we're talking, we're bringing value to everybody out there. Well, that's the name of the game, isn't it? We've got to bring value and hopefully entertain people. And uh, if we get anybody on live, we haven't got anybody on live at the moment, but if we get anybody on live, we'll get some questions and get some interaction. Of so let's go. So quickly, uh, well, not, maybe not quickly, but tell <laughs> us a bit more about yourself, who you are, what you do, uh, because I know you could talk a bit like me, underwater with a mouthful of marbles so <laughs> so, so introduce yourself that's not bad then because if we ever find ourselves underwater at least somebody will hear us absolutely yeah gurgle gurgle <laughs> gurgle <laughs> well first of all thank you for having me on your on your facebook live your podcast um honored to be here my name is sylvester known as a weight loss king i help women predominantly, well, I won't say no to anyone, lose weight for the very last final time. So no more times going back on to the weight loss merry-go-round or, or the roller coaster. I lost 80 kilos myself 16 sweet years ago after being on the weight loss merry-go-round for 25 years. And through my own experience, experiences, journeys, mistakes, triumphs i mentor people from all over the world to help them lose weight for the very last time so how do you classify yourself like do you classify yourself as a life coach or a no. personal trainer or good uh, question yeah very good question um i don't like labeling because i think the best way is for people but if i had to that question I classified myself more as a mentor. I am a qualified personal trainer. I do have my own studio in Sydney where I physically train people. Um, I have a diploma in Bachelor of Sports Science. So I have all that background, but I see myself more as a mentor because a mentor is someone that people can look up to or follow or where I can guide people through my own experiences. And I think that's... A mentor is someone who has got life experiences and can share those with people. So tell us a little bit about the background. Like you said that you lost weight 16 years ago. And, and yes. like in the intro, I mentioned the figure. It was 80 kilos. Yes, so half my body weight. Huge loss. What, huge. Like what, what changed your mindset at the time? Because obviously you were living a life and you were comfortable, I'd imagine, in your own skin. So what changed your mindset at the time? Definitely. Well, I spoke about this in my published book, If I Can, You Can, How I Lost Half My Body Weight. And the first chapter was basically called Moment of Truth. So my moment of truth was really the pushing point. And my moment of truth is really taking ownership of my own actions. And that happened at Easter of 2003 when my brother was doing a, a typical video recording of the whole event of Easter. And uh, my background is Mediterranean, my Italian background. So we celebrate a lot with food. Food brings everyone together and it's a way of sharing and mixing and telling old stories. And I love all that. And I love food because food isn't the enemy. Just want to get that straight. 
So when I saw myself on the video, because when you're big, you don't really sit there and, and glance over your photos or glance over the videos because you're just in total denial. But when I brought that to reality and I saw myself in different dimensions and different viewings from the back, from the side, and then that really triggered. It was a trigger. That was my trigger. And that where I really need to confront myself and bring myself to reality that I got to this stage of my life, age 33, at 152 kilos. I, I did that. So I had to own it. And from the moment that you can own something and take responsibility and be accountable for it, and it sucks because it's really hard to, um, you know, to look yourself in the mirror and say, well, you know, this is my doing. I have to step up and, and, and take it on. That's the moment you can accept it is when the moment you can move forward. And that was my moment of truth when I had to take ownership. And I think my shift in mindset was when I finally accepted and took ownership of, of how big I got in the first place. And, and what was the first step then? Like you, you, you realized that, you know, you were overweight, you didn't like yourself and all the rest of it. So what was the first step you took? Did you go and find a mentor or go to the gym or, or what yeah. did you actually do? Yeah, good question. Because the first thing, well, the first step I took was I need help. And it's like in their girls, if you need a haircut, you go to a hairdresser. If you need, if you got a toothache, you go to a dentist. So my first step back 16 years ago, I'll go to a gym. And I walked into a gym, they sat down with me and they asked all these questions. And that's, that was my starting point. That was the most logical place to start to get help. So I'm kind of getting a gist from that comment that it probably wasn't the best place to start. No. So a logical place to start. <laughs> uh, the way you were saying it, I, I got the impression that, yeah, I did that, but in hindsight, I probably should have done this. So what is the this? Yes, I think, I mean, that's it, with, with gyms and it's like a diet. I mean, they're, they're a mainstream. So they're not, they, 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 you go to one place, here it is. It's a one shoe fit approach for everyone. So you have to, they don't fit in with you. You have to fit in with them. By going to a mentor or or by having someone look at your situation, your unique situation, would be not better because at least they work with your, um, what's blocking you or what's stopping you. And they work within your lifestyle um, and work at your pace. However, at that time, I was so desperate and I was so disgusted with myself and I had enough um, of my life, that was the first place um, I went to. But, I mean, if I knew the answers back then, then yes, that's where we're done. But I think for anyone out there wanting to lose weight for the very last time, it's really finding someone out there that you can, um, that you, you can relate to or you think that can help you in your situation. I think we need to, to find someone that's been in a situation before that can really guide us or mentor us, not just in achieving the results, but also knowing that along this journey, there's going to be setbacks. So there's, there's going to be knockbacks. There's going to be times where you're not getting the results. And when you're not getting the results, it's a time that you want to give up. But what happens if you have a mentor that can tell you that, when you go, th that, that is normal, that along this journey, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and this is going to happen. If you were told that, then you expect it, and then when it happens, you go, well, it's normal. This is not a time to give up. This is a time to show up and to keep on moving forward. So you, you actually become a bit of an accountability partner as well, don't you, as, as the mentor? You do because you have someone you can, yeah, you can have someone you that you need to answer to. You can bounce off your ideas and, 
can throw ideas, definitely having a mentor, having someone that you can be accountable for, it just rein, reinstalls that you're not alone, that you don't have to go through whatever journey you're going through alone. So, I mean, the other thing that, and I suppose this is where the, the reason for the, the, the interview, well, one of the reasons for the interview today is, is because what's evolved out of this was like, and, and maybe I should ask the question, what were you doing before you actually became a mentor? I was in real estate. I was a licensed uh, real estate agent, office job. <laughs> I'm still licensed, but yeah, I was in, I was basically in the property market, property business. So yeah, basically a desk job and after a while, as I was losing my weight, or I was still in that desk job whilst I was still losing my weight and eventually moved out from that desk job because my lifestyle changed. And and, and that's what I was get, getting to. So suddenly you've gone in to, to lose weight with no idea that you were actually going to do something about it later and promote it and help other people do the same thing. But now you've evolved into, you know, like you say, the weight loss king. <laughs> Where did the name come from? I actually picked the name out. I mean, it's, it's quite a bold name. And and sometimes we think of who's this guy calling himself the king. But I actually spoke about this a while ago, probably years and years ago. And what it is, is that the reason why I call myself the weight loss king, not because that I'm better than anyone else, not because I'm superior to anyone else. It's that... I've, I call myself the weight loss king is because I've created this kingdom. I've created this kingdom which I never had because when I was overweight, I was bullied, I was teased, I was left out, I was rejected, I was discriminated. So I never had a place where I felt I belonged. So by having the weight loss king, by having this kingdom, it's a place where people can feel that they can be part of the kingdom and be, have a place where they belong, where they feel that they don't feel intimidated or bullied or, or left out. So it's about creating my own kingdom, a place where people can be a part of and feel, and feel safe um, and, and, and feel confident and, and, and that I can help them. So, I mean, I, I've been following you for a little while and we're in similar groups, like we're in, you know, a couple yes. of coaching groups together, which yes. is good. And you've also started recently a live show where you're actually doing some cooking. Yes. So I mean, are you I, going to now convert that into a TV show and maybe take on My Kitchen Rules or something like that? Wouldn't that be great? I, yeah, I have three Facebook lives. I have have um, Let's Cook, Let's Move and Let's Chat. So we, we focus on the mind, the mouth, what you eat, and the movement. I've always been about the three M's, mind, mouth, movement, which is basically the partnership that you need to lose weight for the very last time. And I love cooking. I've always loved cooking. I've always loved food. And this is what I keep on saying to people, that food is not the enemy when it comes to weight loss. It's We just need to make better choices and have more plan and preparation. So I love cooking. Uh, being Italian background, I lived in Italy for four or five years and I did a fair bit of fun stuff there. But cooking is something which I'm enjoying. I'm not a chef. I've just learnt I'm more like a street cook. I just grab things, put things in, taste things as I go along. But I make it fun. Most of the time people don't like cooking because it's not fun. It's a chore. So I, lo I would love to have my own cooking show. I uh, don't know how that would happen. But I think it'd be. You have. I mean, you've got your own cooking show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're into our. Yeah. Um, I think we're into episode eight, and I do it here at home, and yeah, it's basically a cooking show, and it's yeah, it's it's great fun. And I think that when when people say that knowledge is power, I tend to disagree. I I, I tend to look at that knowledge by me showing how people how to cook. Or, or what I cook, or what I suggest, that knowledge is information. And with that information that empowers you, that gives you the power to take control and to make better decisions when it comes to cooking. But, yeah, I, I love the I, – I, I always love food. 
Um, doesn't matter. It's, it's always Must admit I'm the same. I, you know, I, I, I can actually prove it. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, and, and everyone's different. I mean, I, I think food is, food is something that we must think about every single day, where exercise isn't. So I think by, and by addressing the food part first is, is, is okay, oh, I've got to, what's for breakfast, what's for lunch, what's for dinner, I'm hungry, what do I eat? And that's where we can improve that 1% or 2% when it comes to what we eat. It really, really helps. It, it's, it's a game changer when it comes to making better choices. Yeah, I, I've got a, a, a weird metabolism because I actually don't get hungry. Wow. And my wife just can't understand that because, like, she'll actually prompt me to say, it's lunch, what are we having? Or it's, you know, dinner time, what are we having? Because yes. I'll just get involved in what I'm, whatever I'm doing and I just don't get hungry. But I enjoy wow. food, but I just don't yes. get hungry. It's weird. Yeah, I mean, and I saw that Francis that said now that um, food is happiness. It is. Food, there's always a link to food. And like you're saying, uh, Fred, that you don't feel hungry, but then you have to eat. But it also, we eat food because it tastes good, smells good, the texture in our mouths, it's nice. I mean, food was my best friend when I was overweight because it never rejected, it never rejected me. It was always there. Um, it listened to me. It was there when I was depressed. It was there when I was happy. So, yeah, food is more than just food. But if we can turn food... And we can still have that because it's all about relationships. What is our relationship with food? What is our relationship with exercise? What is the relationship with us? Do we use food to punish ourselves? Do we use exercise to punish ourselves? Do we use food to reward ourselves? So I think if we can just improve upon our relationship, how we see food, and how we use food, we can still enjoy it. And this is why I don't promote diets because every single diet out there has one common denominator. They're gonna take something away from you. And the moment something is taken away from you, you think about it all the time. So it's just a matter of not taking, but adding and adjusting. And I, I think, I mean, that's what you, you you stress in your show, like on the, you know, the cooking show, that it's really <laughs> about, and it's like everything else in moderation, it's fine, yeah. you know. Um, you, so you your cooking show, what, how do people find it? What's, is it in well, your group or is it a page or what, how do they find it? There's multiple, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm across all forms of social media. So you can go and you can add me as a friend or you can go to my Facebook group, which is called Losing Weight. For the very last time that's a great way to connect is by joining the private group and then from there everything else is yeah easy going but instagram facebook my own website if you just type in the weight loss king you'll find me but to go straight right. into uh, even linkedin pinterest youtube but if you go into my group then bang that's where all the goody stuff's in. So now that you've moved on, like, and you, you, you're a weight loss king and, and mentor, where do you see yourself in the couple of years' time? What do you see yourself doing? Well, the big vision is to be the go-to person when it comes to losing weight for the very last time. So I've always visioned myself speaking in front of large audience. That is the big vision. I love helping people one-on-one. -on -one. I love being in a group environment, but it's the speaking is where I can reach more people. That's where I see myself. So do you see that? And now that like we're coming out of COVID, hopefully for the last, very last time. <laughs> use that phrase. I love that phrase of yours too, by the way. It's great. Like losing weight for the very last time. Yes. Um, so Thank I've you. got to grab that for the very last time and tag that onto other things. So it'll be good. Yes. And use it. it. It's there because those that that implies long term. And imagine not even 
have a think about losing weight. Imagine not going on a diet every Monday and then stopping every Tuesday or, or going to the fad diet. It's just one less thing that you would ever have to do for the rest of your life. Um, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's, it, and, it's, and then it's habit forming. So because you just get into that habit and, you know, go through that for the rest of your life, basically. You do. You have to love what you do. You have, you have to be. You have to love and embrace your lifestyle, and this is what it comes to. It's right where losing weight for the very last time begins on the very first day that you have started that you you want to lose weight. That's what it comes. It's the very first day, so that sets the tone. That sets the path, that sets the direction in a way you're going to live your life every day. So if your decision on your very first day is to work out one hour every day and just eat fish, broccoli and rice, can you do that for the rest of your life? And whatever your answer is, is what you go with. If it's no, don't do it. If it's yes, then do it. so if you do, you must love it. It must be sustainable. And, and, and you must do it without any effort, consistently. Yeah, so you don't have to think about it. It just it, it becomes like mindless. You just get going ahead and do it, cook whatever you're going to cook, and it's just another meal, basically. Correct, because if you hate something, if you resent it, if you think that's the enemy, you're not going to do it. You're going to give up. You're going to stop it. And it's not going to be there because the consistency, what got me losing 80 kilos was pure discipline, was pure desire. What has kept me with the weight off all these years is consistency. And, 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 and not only that is that I love what I love my lifestyle. I love how I eat and what I eat and how I move. It's a second nature. Habits take time. It's it's momentum builds momentum. No, I never ate green vegetables. I ate all that sort of stuff. And your taste buds, your taste buds, your everything takes time to adapt, to change, to move with you. And this is the hard part. Weight loss is easy. It's not rocket science. It's that everyone, and me include, I'm guilty for 25 years. I served 25 years for this. I was always in a hurry. I was always in a rush. I want it now. I don't want it tomorrow. I want to get rid of it. And that's the trap that we fall into. That's the the merry-go-round that we get onto. And the only way you can get off the merry-go-round is by losing weight for the very last time is to, is to fall in love with the lifestyle that you have adapted from day one. Now, you mentioned earlier that you have a book out. So what's yes. the title of the book and where can people get it? So the book is called, it was published by New Holland Publishers 10 years ago. So it's out of publication. I do have hard copies, but the book is called If I Can, You Can, How I Lost Half My Body Weight. So I do have a website for my book which is www.losing75kilos.com.au. Or if you go into my group, I can give you directions there. It's also on my um, weightlossking.com.au. And you can click onto it, download it, instant digital download um, from my group and from my page. It's, I think it's a generous $5 download. Um, it's basically, it's not, it, it's, it's, I do it that way because it's, it's, it's attainable for everyone else. There's recipes, there's, it, it takes you along the journey of the ups and downs of what I, I experienced. And, and you've also got a, um, because I downloaded it, you've also got a guide as well that um, yes, yes. people make contact with you <laughs> that they give you, you know, you give yes. them the guide for free, which is a, and it's. It's a weight loss, not a weight loss planner, but it's a planner of sorts. Do you yes, want to tell is. us a little bit about that? Yeah, so what I've done is um, I've put together a 150-page instant 
digital PDF download, and it's called the Ultimate, the Ultimate Weight Loss Planner. So what's in this planner, it basically covers everything. Gives you intro of who I am and what I achieve, but more importantly, it gives you exercises to do, has recipes, it has ways in which you can get a growth, a strong mindset. It also has six months where you can track and you can log your progress. So what you eat, how you move, what you're thinking on a daily, weekly, and monthly. Tracking data is very important, but the, and this is a 150 page free planner. There's no gimmicks. There's no, um, all you have to do is go on to um, my other website, which is basically the, uh, the ultimate weight loss planner.com.au or come onto my Facebook page. If you come to my Facebook page, losing weight for the very last time, it's all there. Um, you can message me there. You click onto it, you download it, enter in your email and away you go. But it is, it's basically my life story, my lifetime, my life experience is quite everything in there. In actual fact, people have said to me, you should sell this. I don't want to sell I, it. I agree. I agree. Because I've, <laughs> I've actually been, been through it and, and it's it's an amazing, you know, like the amount of information in there and oh. it, you could, you know, for whatever price. But I wish I had this when I was losing weight 16 years ago. It's, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's, it's just great value. And like I said, it's just me giving back. And it's me just, it's, it's just a matter of letting people know that I exist. And yes, you can, I can mentor you one-on-one and, and I have all these other wonderful services. I have meal plans that you can buy from my website. I've got lots of things as well. But this planner, the, the mission on this planner was just to help people, those who need help. And then if you choose to then go in further and you need more help, then I'm there. So it, it's it's more to help those people who need a place to start and 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 I need someone who's been in their shoes before that can walk the talk, that that can understand how it feels and to live a life of being overweight, not just for one year, but for 25 years. So so basically from eight years old. I knew how it felt to be overweight and to be teased and to be bullied for 25 years. And this is why I'm so passionate about it. And I was an emotional eater. I had low self-esteem and I tried probably 30, 40 different diets. I know not just men, but women can really relate to that. And, and, and anyone who's gone through the ups and downs can go through it's 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 an emotional roller coaster and by having someone who's been through it just gives you the four letter word that I think is very important is hope we all need hope that you can do it as well so um We've we've gone over uh, we're almost thirty minutes at the moment, so but it's been, <laughs> it's been great. Is, is there any fi final comments you'd like to give the the listeners and and you know people that are on watching at the moment, or or even people that come in and watch the replay? So any little bit of advice you'd like to give them? My advice is that you must fall in love with the new lifestyle that you're going to adapt to. You must love it, and that there will always be setbacks, but setbacks does not mean that you give up. And by taking small steps, and those small steps will add up to a big step and to keep on going no matter how hard it is and to push forward because when you desire or you really want something, then you will achieve it. But never ever stop because of the setback. And, and, and the three other things I can give you as well, if you bite it, you need to write it down in the planner. If you move, you will lose the weight 
as well. And whatever you, whatever you um, think is what you live. So be very, very mindful that how you think and what you do and, and how you move, that everything is a partnership. But at the end of the day, you must fall in love with your lifestyle from day one and ask yourself, is this what I can I, I do for the rest of my life? Great way to end, I think. So it's, you know, fall in love with your lifestyle. Great stuff. Um, this has been, you know, another eye opener for me. I always <laughs> enjoy this, but, um, you know, it's it's great. And I, I'm going to be watching the show because they're fun <laughs> to watch. So, so it's been really good. No, um, th thank you for the opportunity to be able to talk to your audience and talk to anyone out there that could just need that trigger to help them on their way and to finally, yeah, move forward. I think that that anyone with life experiences, including yourself, Fred, anyone that, and I know that at the end of the day that we, you know, time is precious, but anyone who's gone through experiences and you can use that and make a difference and help people achieve the same, then why not? Because your passion will speak for itself. Yep. Um, I mean? just, just finally, just to, because I'm going to take the audio from this and drop it up on a podcast. So do you just want to mention your um, Facebook group again so that people can yep. get in touch with you because it's probably the easiest way? Yeah, so my Facebook group is called Losing Weight for the Very Last Time. And it's a private group, so click on join and then I will we'll approve it. And from there, you'll get access to me, access to all the live Facebook shows. Or if you go into Facebook and type in Sylvester Mazamichi, it will come up. But Losing Weight for the Very Last Time. And if you can put a link, We'll put a link on there. Oh, no, There'll be a link in here, yeah, but for the podcast yeah, for those, purposes. For those yeah. words, and then you'll get access. I've got some new stuff coming through um, and some fun stuff as well. And everything that I do on my lives is all recorded. So even if you join today, you'll still get access to the last eight cooking shows. You so say you can start to, yeah, cook. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sylvester, it's been great i really enjoyed it i love your energy you know love what you're doing and um obviously and we're in groups together and it's it's been yes. a nice decision. it's nice i mean like i think that living in this world that we've had to for the last eight nine months has i i believe that it has brought us even closer to, together like we 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 have in this talk on zoom if it wasn't for COVID, so it's all about looking the positives out of the negatives so once we can draw that, once we can draw upon, okay, COVID has happened, but what has it brought to us? It's brought us closer. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, no, you're right, because before COVID, I was the background guy doing all the tech stuff for my clients. Yes. Right? Three months ago, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be on camera. No, right? you're everywhere now. Ago, I wouldn't that... have thought about doing this. Yes, every day I see you on, on your Facebook lives and away you go, there goes Fred walking to the shops. I think it's great. I think it's... It's very sad. There's no, you can't cover that up. But the positives, it's brought us even closer. Yep. Yep. Always a positive. Remember, only, only see great. Which way did we go? <laughs> <laughs> All right, buddy. It's we been go, great. We go, we go that way. We always go forward. <laughs> Absolutely. And on occasion, just look behind to make sure there's nobody there stabbing you in the back. <laughs> All right, mate, I'll, I'll uh, call it at that one, and it's been great. And um, we will put the links in for people on Facebook, and yeah. we'll, I'll mention it again in the extra on uh, the podcast, okay? It's been, really, it's been really fun, Fred. I've really enjoyed this. Me too. Take care. Chat. Take care. Thanks, Fred. I'll just end the live. Hang on. <laughs>